Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. I was a runner. I was up to running three miles a day every morning. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, I was shocked because I'm not a smoker. Baylor, Scott and White, the facility, the staff, everyone has been so amazing. I love, love the fact that I can breathe. When I first heard that I had cancer, I was referred to Baylor Scott and White immediately. It was really important for me to be able to get my chemotherapy and everything here because I wanted to be close to my friends, my family. They were so confident and made me feel at ease and supported me. I felt like I was their only patient and I knew they had several people that they were dealing with, but I was the most important person. I had like a week of headaches. Throughout that week, I went to my local hospital. They referred me to Baylor Scott and White. They gave me an MRI. The tumor that was inside of my head was cancer. Baylor Scott and White has given me this new technology that helps decrease the growth rate of my cancer cells. The doctor I have right now, he's just amazing. It's a great feeling to know the guy who's taking care of me actually really cares about me. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing cancer care for life. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the Mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based, and I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Having a good team to work with, and a great, all, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it, and it helps at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor, and I really appreciate that. I'm thankful that I have the ability to work, the physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's 
you know, the last job that I have, I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here. And it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture, and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better, to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor's a very good place to work for. It's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. I'm thankful for what I do. I'm thankful for the patients that we take care of. Uh, I'm thankful for my calling, my ministry, you know, is helping those who can't help themselves, being there for them. So I'm, I'm thankful for all that I can do for someone else who can't do for themselves. Equality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. And welcome to Trinity Valley Cardinal Softball on the Cardinal Sports Network for today's Region 14 doubleheader matchup between the Cardinals and the Northeast Texas Eagles. The Cardinals coming off a dominating performance in their last game against Midland College, looking to continue their winning streak. In fact, TVCC has won 7 of 8 in the month of March. They're 22 and 8 overall, 10 and two at home. Good afternoon. I'm Tim Howard. Uh, looking forward to the inaugural broadcast here of Cardinals Sports on the Cardinal Sports Network. And while the Cardinals are playing in Athens today, they're not playing at their home, Rip Drum Gold Field at Kane Park. Uh, with more than two inches of rain in East Texas, today's venue will now be at the brand new Lady Hornets softball field. On big thanks to Athens ISD for the spirit of cooperation there. The altar surface and uh, reconstructed stands have been drawing rave reviews across the Lone Star State. Northeast Texas, uh, they come in today having uh, finding their way as they will need to bring their A game. They come in today uh, with an 8-14 and 14 record and entering their first Region 14 contest against Trinity Valley, who shares the top spot with Tyler Junior College, who is also 2-0. and oh. Both teams hungry for a win in this doubleheader with the uh, Region 14 standings and the Eagles uh, trying to turn hits this afternoon. The stage set for an exciting afternoon of softball as these two teams will battle it out here on the diamond. Uh, so sit back, relax, get ready for an exciting fast-paced ball game this afternoon as Trinity Valley will host Northeast Texas and we're glad to bring it to you here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Stay tuned. That's coming up right after this on the Cardinals Sports Network. 
Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals. Offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of 1 to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. And getting ready for the first pitch here for you, coming to you from uh, Athens ISD today. It is Region 14 action with Trinity Valley hosting Northeast Texas and the Eagles coming in. We'll run over the uh, defensive lineup here for the um, Cardinals softball squad here. Get a chance to get you those lineups as we are in for a double hitter this afternoon. Uh, Cardinals defensively, well, we'll run through their starting lineup. Number four, Mariah DeBose, the center fielder at second for the Cardinals will be number one, Addison Wittram, playing behind the plate. The catcher, number 11, Kiara Weidenhoff. The designated player uh, batting fourth will be Abby Hollingsworth. She will bat for the pitcher in the circle. That's Nicole Sturr. At first base for the Cardinals, it will be number 32, Jaden Burnham. In left field, it's Crystal Ann Castaneda. She'll bat sixth. In right field, Eliza Fields, the first baseman. And at shortstop, Destiny Menchaca, number 25. And third baseman batting ninth, Ashlyn Weinert. Uh, Lady uh, Cardinals, Cardinals softball on the, the field here, ready to get started with first pitch. Do up for Northeast Texas. The left fielder, Raylan Kennard, coming in with a 385 average. Kennard with nine RBIs on the year, three stolen bases. First pitch in there for strike one. Stir the pitcher wears number 22. Nicole with windup and delivers the hat on the outside part of the plate. So quickly out in front. Oh, and two. Kennard playing left field. That's from the left side. Here is the 0-2 delivery. Gets a little bit of that. Fouls it into the Cardinal dugout down the third base line. So the one, the 0-2 pitch coming here. Raylan playing left field is uh, hitting 385. I mentioned the nine RBIs doing that from the leadoff position. Tried to get her to chase there, nothing doing. Just missing the outside corner. So one ball, two strikes here. What's turned out to be a pretty nice afternoon. Still a lot of cloud cover 
but uh, the Reigns have, knock on wood, moved on. Slashes it out into left field and past the diving Menchaca. So a leadoff single for Kennard. Now coming to the plate will be Holland, Peyton Holland, plays shortstop for Northeast Texas. Freshman with a 298 average. Big cut comes up empty on that. So 0 and 1. Nicole in the circle. Takes a step out now. Back to action. Foot on the rubber. I had to get her go out over the uh, outside part of the plate there. Not chasing that as it was just into the right side of the batter's box. Good job there from Holland to lay off. One ball, one strike. Run on first is Kennard. That gets Oh, a good throw, and they're gonna get they're gonna get the put out as Widenhop throws down to I wanna say it was uh Menchaca in the tag. That ball kind of escaped Widenhop's uh, glove, just went straight up in the air. And they will retire Kennard at second. So one out. Two balls, one strike. There is a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Fouled back into the netting. Two balls, two strikes. One OA here. Top half of the first inning, Northeast Texas coming over to Athens today. Sun breaking through the clouds here. 2-2 Two -two pitch from Stir. Flight out to left, going over, and off the top of the wall, just missing a home run. Throw in at second. Almost got her with the uh, throw. Good strong throw from Castaneda to Wittram, but not going to uh, get her. That ball hit just in front of the uh, yellow piping over the green wall here. Almost got it out of here. Maybe a foot or two. But a good strong throw from Castaneda to Wittram and almost retired Bradshaw. So two out double from Maya. Now Lily Galvez to the plate. Galvez batting from the right side. Big cut comes up empty. One and one count here with two down. That is fouled into the net. One ball, two strikes. That one is fouled out. So Peyton Holland with that uh, double. Now you have Bradshaw at the plate. She's the designated player. She's batting for the pitcher, Braylon Henderson. You'll see her next inning. That misses upstairs, two and two. Throw down to second. Kind of a courtesy throw, really, I don't think, trying to get the runner. Just keeping her close to the base. Two and two with one away here. That makes that uh, throw out of Kennard even more important. I could have very easily scored her. Catching the outside corner and Bradshaw goes down on strikes. So now two outs here in the top of the first. Calavez coming up, the center fielder. That misses low. Uh, 
I don't miss up and out of the strike zone. Cardinals off to a great start here in the 24 season. Currently 2-0 and in Region 14. That's in there for strike one, catching the inside part of the play. Two balls and a strike. Two outs here in the top half of the first inning. Originally, this game was scheduled for yesterday. That one is shot out into center fielder. A couple of moves to her left. And there to make the catch is DeBose. That'll retire the side. And the Pirates leave a runner on base. We're headed to the bottom of the first. Cardinals about to come to the plate here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Region 14 softball going strong here in the uh, early part of the season. The Cardinals have knocked out two games here. They're 2-0 and oh, sitting on the top of the leaderboard along with TJC, the uh, Lady Apaches. So Trinity Valley trying to get that third win here in the conference. In fact, a quick look at that. Northeast Texas coming in today. This is technically their, well, it's their first Region 14 game of the year as they're 8-14 on the year, 0-0 in Region 14. Trinity Valley will uh, send to the plate here in the bottom of the first, DuBose. Mariah DuBose wears number four. Made that great catch out in left field just a few moments, or in the center field just a few moments ago. First pitch in there for strike one. Not so much a, a huge athletic play by DeVos on the uh, defensive play, but just the handling that liner that was shot looked like right out of a cannon. And she casually moved to her left, made the grab, and that retired the side. Now here she is looking at a one and one count here in the bottom of the first. Here's the pitch. Takes that one. One ball, two strikes to the leadoff hitter for the Cardinals. On deck is Wittram Addison playing second base. Fouls that one into the screen. So staying alive, one and two the count. Freeland Henderson in the circle for the Pirates. Gets the signal, here comes the pitch. Leaves the bat on it, so fouls another one out and about. That shot there uh, kind of gave you an aerial view of the new setup here for the Lady Hornets of Athens ISD. This shot of the tunnel and the screen over across the way. That one will miss high and tight. Two balls and two strikes. Nobody out here. Bottom of the first. Eagles and Cardinals. On a Sunday afternoon, let's that one fall out of the zones. Three balls, two strikes. Trinity Valley trying to get DeBose aboard here. The leadoff batter in the bottom of the first inning. Wittram on deck. Pops that one up as she got enough room. Should be playable, and she will make the catch. That's the third baseman, Fuentes, coming over to make the grab. So one away as Addison Whitram comes to the plate. Addie will step up. Batting from the left side.
swings through that first pitch. Henderson might have took a little something off on that one. So Addy looking at a 0-1 count here with one away in the bottom of the first. Check swing, but puts it back into the screen. So now looking at an 0-2 count. Wittram playing second base for the Cardinals today. Hells from Malakoff graduated a couple of years ago there. Here's a pitch to it. That'll miss. Takes and lays off there. One ball, two strikes. One away. As Breland Henderson looks over, gets a signal. Still thinking about it. Looking into that dugout. Long time in between pitches here. Now going to check the wristband. And they're going to talk it over here after the uh, the discrepancy here. One ball and two strikes, one away here. It is the bottom of the first here, scheduled for two today. This game originally was uh, set to be played yesterday. Of course, if you're in the East Texas area or Northeast Texas, you, you probably are familiar with the rain that, that traveled across most of the area. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. That's outside. Three balls. Two strikes. Full up here to Wittram. One out in the bottom of the first. See if Addy can uh, get something to work with here. Should have a pretty good pitch to see. Takes third strike. So down on strikes is Wittram. Two down here in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up Kiera Weidenhall catcher. Right hop batting from the right side. That cut just the edge of the right side of the batter's box. I mean, home plate. <laughs> There's a long pause there, but that is uh, the call. Knuckleball. That's a good grab by the first baseman diving out to get it was Grant. That becomes a big play because if she doesn't make that catch, it's going to be tough to get that second baseman over to cover. But uh, again, Grant makes the grab. So that'll retire the Cardinals. We're headed to the top of the second. It's scoreless here. TVCC hosting Northeast Texas on the Cardinals Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well, and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. I'll and everyone is always on the same team. Good girl. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing healthcare for the better. Headed back to the top of the second inning. It's the Lady Cardinals hosting the Pirates of Northeast Texas, Trinity Valley Cardinal softball here on a beautiful Sunday afternoon and uh, pretty good crowd on hand as well. A lot of folks coming out and ha having to use the umbrellas now for another reason as the rain is is going away, but the uh, the sun is, is making shade necessary. So a lot of a lot of umbrellas popping up, but again, for the, the cause of the sun. So ready for this uh, top of the second inning. The Pirates will be sending to the plate the four, uh, the five, six, and seven batters. Yaros, Grant, and Fonseca do up here in the bottom or the top of the second. First pitch to Kendall. Missing down for ball one. Yavis, the catcher. Hitting from the right side, looking at a 1-0 count. Lays off there. 2-0 as Yaris has a chance to get a hit in the count here and see what she can do with a 2-0 offering. Stewart from the windup. 
Missing low. Being very careful to Kendall. Big stick in the five spot. Three and oh the count. Here's the pitch. And they walk her on four pitches. Leadoff batter is aboard for Northeast Texas. And now coming up number three, Hope Grant. First baseman will step in. She also batting from the right side. Here's a oh, low down. That was down the middle, but called low. So the uh, the cards build themselves a little bit of a a hold to dig out from here. Six straight balls here in the top half of the second. 2-0 and as Grant has a favorable count here. See if she gets something she can drive. Probably going to make her find that strike zone first. Now swinging at that one, fouling it out of play. Two balls and a strike. Grant batting from the right side. Good compact stance. Here's the swing and drives that one right back into the net. Just missed that one. Tried to split that ball in half and uh, got a little bit under it, but not by much. Brought it right back into the netting here. Here's the 2 2. Hit sharply. Manaka with a grab at short. A throw over to Whitram. They will get the lead runner but not able to turn it. But what a play from Menchaca. Man, that was a bullet. Thought they were going to have at least first and second. Menchaca backhands it deep in the hole and guns it across the, uh, to Wittram, who gets the throw and retires the first out of the inning. Grant on board with a... Uh, Fielder's choice, but boy, that she's got to feel like I got robbed on that one. First pitch in for strike one to Landry Ponseca. She pops that one up. Should be playable. Menchaca comes over and makes the grab. So two outs here in um, the last couple of moments. Turn this inning around. Could have very easily been first and second with nobody out. Instead, there's two down as Emma Peoples comes to the plate, the right fielder. Drives that one long and deep out over in left center, and it is gone. So Peoples will deliver a two-out home run, and that's going to put... The Pirates on the board first here. Peoples will get the two RBI home run with two outs here in the second. Catching up my book here. Peoples gets that two run shot nicely done. Got all of it, and uh, there wasn't anything that DeBose could do. She ran back to the wall and gave it a look up and over. It was gone, no question about that shot. First pitch is down for ball one to Giselle Fuentes, the third baseman. Coming back, firing a dart right in on the right side corner of the plate. So one ball, one strike, two outs to Fuentes. Turned on that one and drove it a long way, but foul. Splashdown here as that one tra traveled over beyond the batting cages into that temporary pond that's out there over the weekend. We've had so much rain and catching bass out there right now. That is popped up down the right side, caught. Catch is made by Burnham to retire the side. So headed to the bottom of the second, the Cardinals trailing the Pirates here 
It's 2 nothing on the Cardinal Sports Network. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer, from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. And welcome back. We are headed to the bottom of the second inning. Trinity Valley trailing 2 nothing after that two-run home run last inning delivered by Peoples. Emma Peoples singing it out into left center power alley and drives it up and over. Due up for Trinity Valley here in the bottom half of the second will be Abby Hollingsworth. Uh, Hollingsworth playing the designated player role. She's batting for uh, Sturham, the pitcher. So Hollingsworth stepping into the plate. That one will miss down low, one ball and no strikes. Take something off of that one missing. So 2-0. Oh. Langsworth, freshman, as you see there on the screen, out of Wiley. See what Abby does here. The 2-0 oh offering. Got under that. Could be trouble down the left field line. Long way to go, but making the grab is Kennard, the left fielder. Made a nice catch. And then the big twirl out in the outfield of celebration. So one away here as Hollingsworth is retired on the fly out to the left. Here comes Jaden Burnham. Burnham, the first baseman. That missing outside. One ball, no strikes. Burnham looking at the 1-0. Big cut there from Jaden. Comes up empty on that. One ball, one strike. One out here in the bottom of the second. Getting outside corner there. One ball, two strikes. So Burnham, let's see if she'll Shorten the stance a little bit, try and protect that plate. Here's the one, two. Does not chase upstairs there, two and two. Look at the wrist, and now here comes the pinch. That was a Probably looks a lot easier to lay off the, uh, that one than it actually was, but Jaden does a good job. It almost took a little short hop in, but you're so amped up and sometimes we'll offer. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Way outside, ball four. So Burnham is aboard and will take the base on balls. That'll bring Crystal and Castaneda to the play. Crystal Ann's playing left field for Trinity Valley. Where's number 13? That is going to be in there for strike one. As you uh, look down that first base line, you've, Burnham got a pretty good lead as the first baseman is not holding her own. Pretty generous call there. It's 0 and 2 the count. Here's a look at it coming right from center field. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. She is down on strikes. 
So now two outs in the inning after Castaneda cannot connect. That'll bring up Eliza Fields. Fields the right fielder. That misses on the first pitch to Fields. Fields wears number three. Open stance. Here's the pitch. And cut comes up with a bat full of air after that swing. Two and oh, or one and one with two outs. Cardinals softball here. First ball game in of two. That'll catch the corner. One and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the second. And that retires the side. Cardinals leave a runner on board. We're headed to the top of the third. It's 2-0 Trinity Valley trailing Northeast Texas here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. So Get two breakfast sandwiches like a sausage McMuffin with egg or a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for just $5. Headed to the top half of the third inning, Northeast Texas gets off to the uh, early lead with that two-run shot last inning. And now uh, trying to add to it as Trinity Valley got their first runner on board last inning, but wasn't able to deliver as uh, Henderson put Castaneda and Fields down on strikes, retired Hollingsworth with a fly out to left. So headed to the top of the third now with the top of the order, Raylan Kennard. She'll let that go by for ball one. You'll recall Kennard got on board back in the first and was caught stealing moments later. Swing and a miss. One and one the count. Yeah, on that uh, throw down to second, we got a chance just to see the cannon of Weidenhoff. She had to wait for the ball to come down. She fouls that one back into the screen. One and two now. Had to wait for the ball. It popped up out of her mitt and went into the air. And the runner's off and going. And it felt like probably an eternity waiting for that ball to come down. Thought she didn't have a chance. And put the ball right on the bag, which room applied the tag, and Kennard was retired. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss, and Kennard goes down on strikes. So that will be the first out here in the top of the third. Peyton Holland coming to the plate. Holland had that almost would be home run just missed going under the just under the yellow fencing out in left center got a double had to work to get that double though i thought it was gone originally but they uh, got a good strong throw fly out into short left field Manak manchaka there to make the catch and retires Holland. So two away here. Quick work as that will bring up Maya Bradshaw, the designated player. Maya struck out in the first inning, was the second out of the inning. It's that inside corner on her there. Good placement.
my uh, squares to bunt here and it pulls it back three spot here in the lineup. Bradshaw has been very strong uh, at the plate. We'll talk about it here momentarily. That'll catch the outside corner. Two balls and two strikes. That is shot out to right center. That's down. Is it going to get to the wall? It does. A bounce off the wall. She's going for two. They're going to have a chance to throw. Just not in time. So good piece of hitting there from Bradshaw. She goes oppo and uses the uh, power alley out there. Goes opposite field. Standing on second in scoring position with two outs as Galaviz comes to the plate. Hit hard to short, long throw across the diamond. They got her by a half a step as Menchaca guns it to Burnham to retire the side. One runner left on base. It's 2-0 Trinity Valley trailing the Eagles of Northeast Texas. They're coming to the plate in the bottom of third after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. Going to the bottom half of the third inning, Trinity Valley gelling Northeast Texas here by two as TVCC trying to get the bats going. And the uh, Cardinals will start off the third by sending Menchaca to the play. Destiny had that big strong throw to end the top of the third. I mean, when I say deep in the hole at short, probably can't get any deeper she's probably got that right foot in short left field when she made that strong throw across so uh, we're ready for the first pitch here as the uh, Cardinals send destiny to the plate First pitch is going to sneak in there for strike one. So Destiny trying to get things going here for the Cardinals. They got their first runner on base last inning. That's up and out of the zone. One ball, one strike. Breland Henderson has gotten pretty comfortable here uh, in the first two innings, lady. The young lady has uh, really had pretty much control that's going to be a little doink out into short center and coming on to make the grab is Galaviz so the center fielder retiring Menchaca one out here in the bottom half of the third Weinert coming to the plate here for Trinity Valley I don't miss upstairs ball one. Well, let's see here. I've got a number wrong. I think I was. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. That's shot out. Little looper, and it's down, and then it's going to scoot away. They're going to get an extra base on that, as that is a uh, a dive by the center fielder, Galaviz. Galaviz had that ball drop in, or right in front of her. She's trying to drive, dive for it. It bounces off her glove away from the 
left fielder Kennard, who was on in pursuit, and eventually Holland tracks it down in left field as it got past both. Just a break there for the Cardinals. So runner on at second and one out. This will be popped up and gobbled up by Holland. One pitch, one out. So DeBose retired. Play out to the shortstop. Two down here. Wittrum in at the plate. She pushes that one out into left field, but over to make the catch is Kennard and the Lady Cards. Trinity Valley Cardinals uh, are going to lose or leave a runner on at second, and the side retired as we're headed to the top of the fourth inning. Trinity Valley trailing 2 0 to Northeast Texas here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Continuing on here in our 15th year of broadcasting Trinity Valley Sports. I'm Tim Howard. Uh, glad to have you joining us here as this ball game uh, is, was originally scheduled for yesterday. Of course, rain had a big role in that one, moved it back to today. And the game is actually uh, being played at Athens High School, uh, not at the home park of uh, Rip Drum Gold Field at Kane Park. So Trinity Valley playing in Athens today here, trailing two nothing as we get to the top of the fourth. First pitch is down for ball one. Swing and a miss to your boss. So let's see what they elect to do with Kendall here. Looking at a one and one count. Here's the pitch. I don't miss down low. Yaros has a head in the count here at two balls and one strike. Catcher for the Pirates. That's popped up. Should be playable here for Weiner. And she will make the catch. The third baseman coming over makes the grab. So one out here in the top of the fourth. Hope Grant coming to the plate now, the first baseman. First pitch to Grant. Well, I see uh, some of the Cardinal fans wanting that call there. Did not get that one. So here's the 1-0 count. That'll miss two balls and no strikes. With one out here in the top of the fourth. Cardinals trying to take care of Grant here. That'll catch the inside part. So two balls and a strike. One down here after they retired the Ross just a moment ago. Here's the pitch to Grant. She got that off the end of the bat. Menchaca has to go out to short left, but does make the grab. So now two outs here in the fourth inning. We're moving along quickly here. We've got uh, a double header for you this afternoon. So we'll look forward to lots of softball this afternoon here on what's turned out to be a pretty fantastic day. 
Still a few clouds in the in the area. Should not impact us too much. Swing and a miss. First pitch to Landry Fonseca, and she's going for it, but comes up missing there. That'll miss on the outside part of the plate. Oh, and uh, one and one now as that one missed out wide right. That's in there, strike two. So Landry now looking at a one and two count, two down here in the top half of the fourth inning. Big wide open stance from Landry. Swing and as a miss as she challenged her on that uh, fastball. Landry swings through it. So headed to the bottom of the fourth. It's still 2-0. Trinity Valley coming to the plate trying to cut that deficit right after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. And welcome back, Cardinals Sports Network. Glad to have you joining us here on this uh, beautiful afternoon of Trinity Valley Cardinals softball. It's a, a low, uh, low scoring game thus far. Trinity Valley trying to have something to say about that as they will be sending Widenhop to the plate. The catcher are starting things off here in the fourth. Kiara uh, steps up and looks at a ball the outside portion for ball one. The second game is scheduled to start at 4.30 this afternoon. So looking uh, a little bit down the road for that. Of course, that's all time sensitive. We'll keep you uh, up to speed on that. 2-0 count now to Kiara. The catcher. Here's the pitch. Missing upstairs are being real careful to the three spot here. Kira definitely um, has been a fun player to keep an eye on this year. Taking all the way there. That's in there for a strike one. Just for instance, uh, in that game earlier this spring when Trinity Valley beat Vernon 35 to 5. Yeah, that, that wasn't a misspeak. Uh, 35 to 5. Kiara was three for three with nine ribbies. Five runs scored and two home runs in that game. So uh, she fouls that one off. Now it's three balls and two strikes. I looked at that when I was looking over the notes and I just was like, ah, have yourself a game there, Kiara. Uh, but definitely what she will probably be telling her grants about one of these days. 3-2 pitch. That's a hard shot to second. Got a hold of it, but not able to retire Widenhaupt who was hustling down the line that was hit sharply and Fonseca moving to her right was able to get a glove on it but not cleanly knocked it down picked it up and by that time Widenhaupt had hustled out the infield hit so here is the leadoff runner aboard for Trinity Valley and now taking ball one is Abby Hollingsworth Hollingsworth, the designated player. She flied out to left her first time up. Uh, 
taking or letting that one go by wisely. Yeah, it's way outside. 2-0 and oh the count. Ross says, uh, let's talk this over. So she'll step out of the catcher's box and head out and talk to Breland Henderson. The Pirates have looked pretty good defensively thus far to this point, holding Trinity Valley scoreless. But TVCC, a lot of firepower, and they're trying to get that going here in their half of the fourth. Hollingsworth should get something she would like here with a 2-0 count. Can really be picky, uh, count in her favor. Let's see what they elect to do. Takes that one. Two balls and a strike. Widen hopped on at first. Abby Hollingsworth at the plate, looking at a 2-1 count. Here is the pitch. Outside for ball three. Three balls and one strike. Hit sharply down the line. That's past the left fielder. That's all the way to the wall. Digging for third is Widenhoff. She'll get this turn signal and heading into home, sliding and making it in flawlessly. Going into third is Hollingsworth, and she will be just 60 feet away from a uh, tying run. That was a great drive and uh, good wheels by Kennard out there, but she never had a chance as... She turned on that ball and drives it all the way to the wall in left field. Abby Hollingsworth all the way to third as they elect to try to get the runner at the plate. Scoring all the way from first was Widenhop. Here's a swing and a miss by Burnham as Jaden had grand visions on that cut. Here is the 0-1 pinch. Coming to Burnham. Outside. One ball, one strike. Good turnout here this afternoon of uh, folks taking in the ball game. Beautiful facility here at Athens High School. That will miss two and one. Tying run, 60 feet away. Nobody out here in the fourth, and Henderson trying to find an answer. Swing and a miss. Makes it two and two to Burnham. Jaden drew a base on balls back in the second. Long look at the play selection. Now that is down low. Pretty good job framing that one by your Ross. She's done a good job of that a couple of times today. Uh, three and two now, trying to get the second block of of uh, the day for Burnham. Walked a couple of innings ago. Here she is, three and two. Little pop up to short. It's going to be caught by Holland. So one out and the runner having to hold at third. Here comes Crystal and Castaneda. Crystal Ann, the left fielder for Trinity Valley. So Burnham goes down on the pop up. Strike one in there on the outside corner. Standing at third is Hollingsworth. That's up and out of the strike zone. So one ball, one strike. Going back to that uh, double and, and getting to third on the overthrow was Hollingsworth had that ball, I think, two hop the fence. I mean, it was a bullet scooting down the left field line. Pops that one out of play. And into the top row there. One ball, two strikes. Lady Card's trying to tie it up here with a uh, 
bringing in Hollingsworth. That's way outside. Took a little off of that one. Castaneda did a good job to lay off. Count even to two apiece. Fields on deck for Trinity Valley. Eliza Fields in the on deck circle. That is pushed out in left center. Maybe trouble in between the two and all the way to the warning track. She'll stand up at second with a one out double. And then we are tied as Abby Hollingsworth is able to come home on the long drive out into the power alleys. Great job there coming through by Crystal Ann Castaneda. Get her the ribby. Now here comes Eliza Fields, the right fielder for Trinity Valley. She steps up with only one out here in the fourth. 2-2. Two -two. Pulled back. Looked like she was going to lay down a little bunt, try and move her over, but pulled it back, and it was out of the strike zone. Fields went down on strikes in the second inning. She's ahead 1-0 and here in the fourth. 2-2. Two -two. The score. Nice bunt. It's going to be trouble and beating it out at first base. Showing the wheels, the right fielder for Trinity Valley. Good look at her there. Eliza getting it done. Scooting down the line here. And runners are on the corners with a 2 2 score. Trinity Valley trying to take the lead now as Castaneda is standing at third fields. On first, here comes the shortstop, Destiny Machaca. Machaca's had a good day defensively. Here she is uh, swinging through that first pitch. Runner goes down. No throw. Fields doesn't even draw the throw. They saw her wheels getting down the first baseline. And, of course, she got the runner at third. Didn't want to chance anything there. So base hit would probably drive in two with a good speed at second. That's down low. One ball and one strike. That's pushed out in right field. Probably deep enough to score the run. Here's a throw. and They'll cut it by the first baseman. And it is a 3-2 Cardinal lead after the sacrifice fly by Menchaca. She drives it out into right field. Peoples captures it, but could not get the throw in time to retire Castaneda. And it's now a Cardinal 3-2 lead. Two outs also tagging up his fields. She goes from second to third. Here comes Ashlyn Weinert. Outside for ball one. Weinert is uh, on uh, at, the, at the plate here after a double in the first inning. Or, excuse me, in the third inning. She's back up here in the fourth. Hit to third, the throw over, and they get her by a step. So the Cardinals get on the board. In fact, take the lead, putting up three. They lead 3-2 as we head to the fifth. Here it's Trinity Valley and Northeast Texas on Region 14 Softball Sunday here on the Cardinals Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Welcome back. We are headed to the top half of the fifth Trinity Valley taking the lead in the bottom of the fourth as they sent five uh excuse me let me let me do some math here one two three four five six seven that's actually counting tim seven players to the plate in the uh, fourth inning three of them scored and the cardinals left one player on base but not before taking a three 
to lead. And that's where we are as we start the top half of the fifth inning. Due up for the Eagles, it'll be Kennard, Fuentes, and Emma Peoples to start it off here. The right fielder stepping up to the plate. Ball one as that one misses. So Emma, the right fielder at the plate here. Big open stance for Emma. That left foot nearly out of the box there. Right foot on the stripe in the lower portion of the plate from the right side. Of course, when it's all said and done, once everyone closes that stance up by the time you make contact. Here's the 2-0. That's way down low. Good job at the plate today from people. She's had that home run her last time up. Crushed it out into the uh, power alleys. Sent it over the wall in left center. Here's a 3-0 pitch. It's in there for strike one. So Peoples, the right fielder, lets that one go by. Still way ahead in the count, see what she wants to do here. She sees what she's looking for. Took something off that, and they will walk the leadoff batter as Peoples is on board with a base on balls. So here comes the third baseman to the plate. It's Giselle Fuentes. Fuentes really was the third out in the second after she flew out to Burnham. First pitch swinging. Will they have enough room down the line? There's a lot of room. And Menchaka says, yeah, dude, now throw on the tag. And boy, they almost got her. I think they've got a play on her. But Whitram, when she caught the ball, her glove got kind of stuck on the uh, on the, the dirt slash rug as she was going to the swipe the tag. Didn't quite get this clean swipe tag on her. Good heads up running there from Burnham. Uh, or excuse me, the uh, runner at first, Peoples, she tagged up. Cardinals were trying to challenge to see if she might have left too soon. And uh, did not. She got off when the uh, appeal overturned. Working way outside on the first pitch to Kennard. Swing and fouling that one back. So one ball, one strike. If you're just tuning in, the Cardinals uh, took the lead last inning. They are currently on top three, two. Outside part of the plate, she fouls that over down the third base line, out of play. One and two, the count. To Raylan Kennard. Raylan playing left field this afternoon for the Pirates. Two balls, two strikes. One out here in the top half of the fifth. Stir sends that one in. It is getting just enough of it is Kennard. So she's hanging tight at two balls, two strikes. Kennard batting from the left side, so that could come into play with her speed down that first base line on a bang-bang play. Fouls that one out of play. So Nicole Stur, Stur uh, in the circle today. Pitcher for Trinity Valley, working the ball around. Now back on the rubber, ready to go. 2-2, two -two, one out. Tried to get her climb up the ladder there for that one, but Kennard says nothing doing. You see Kennard batting 385. She's got one home run on the year, 
And uh, of course, those nine ribbies, they'd love to see another one here, the Pirate Faithful. Pushes that one out in left field, going back and over Castaneda there to make the grab. So two outs as Castaneda traveled with that one. Good job there by Crystal Ann. So now with two outs in the top half of the fifth, Cards trying to get out of this unscathed. Holland at the plate. First pitch down low. So Peyton will come up here the uh, right at 300 hitter, 298 average on the air. Pushes that one long and way back. That is a monster shot over the scoreboard. And the Pirates come right back here in the top of the fifth. They now lead it 4-3 after trailing 3-2. That was, boy, got every bit of that one. I had mentioned earlier in the game that Holland just missed a home run. There was no doubt on that one as she uh, went off the top of the wall back in the second in, or in the first inning. They left her stranded there, but that time she clears the bases and now they lead it 4-3. It's never a good sight when the center fielder and left fielder just look up and watch. There was no doubt about that one as she crushed that ball. I guess it's all about perspective. It's a good good thing for Pirates fans. But uh, Cardinal Faithful knew that was a... Watch them track that ball down. That's a good 15, 25 feet, maybe more beyond... And because of all the rain, there's not a lot of bounce out there. It hit, and it's probably stuck right where it was. That was a really a big shot. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pinch with two outs. Flies that one out into center field. Coming on is DuBose, and that will retire the side. So the Pirates pick up two and take the lead back. It's 4-3 Trinity Valley trailing as we go to the bottom of the fifth here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Headed to the bottom half of the fifth inning. It's Trinity Valley shelling 4-3, due up for the Cardinals. Oh, let me catch my book up here momentarily. My apologies. Uh, we go to the bottom of the fifth. It's back to the top of the lineup for Trinity Valley. Mariah DeBose, Addison Wittram, and Kiara Widenhop. As uh, get a look back at the replay, to, the replay to retire the last half of the fifth so going to the top now or bottom rather of the fifth it'll be Widenhaupt, Wittram and DeBose Widenhaupt had the had the uh, infield hit to start the big inning in the fourth and now here she is uh, what well, should be due up third in this half So ready for action here as a little bit of a change in the lineup coming. I'll try and capture this. If you guys get that, y'all might have better sight on who's in this circle now. Uh, let's see. So it's 
believe it's Henderson still on in this. Uh, Peyton Holland is now pitching. Thank you. Holland is uh, going to be on to pitch, relieving Henderson. So Trinity Valley will send up to the plate here in the bottom half of the fifth. You've got Gal Galvez staying. I believe she'll stay on out in her position. Okay, yeah. So Trinity Valley at the plate, though, will have DuBose, Wittram, and Weidenhaupt coming up. Bottom half of the fifth, Trinity Valley trailing 4-3. DuBose, the center fielder, to start this off. That's way outside. I'll give it to your, your Ross, though. She's done a great job behind the plate, making, making every pitch seem like it's pretty close. It's an art. It really is. And she's, she's an artist back there. Here's the pitch. Upstairs, 2-0. Oh. So Holland. Hollingsworth. In the circle and down. I'll get it right eventually. Peyton Holland. Sorry. My apologies to the Holland family. I'm missing 3-0 and oh, the count. Here's a 3-0 offering here as DeBose works and takes that one on the outside corner. So three and one the count. On deck for Trinity Valley is Addie Wittram. Wittram playing in second base for the Cardinals. And then it'll be Widenhop. As TVCC looks at a deficit currently. Here's the pitch. That's a chopper to third. Grabbing and throwing, not in time though. Hustling down the line and beating that one out was Mariah DeBose. Great effort there by, I think that's Grant over at first who goes full on splits, makes the catch, but just could not get that one in time. So DeBose on board with the speed. And now little meeting on the mound as Trinity Valley has the tying run at first base. And Addie Wittram coming up. Addison on the afternoon will step up with an 0 for 2 thus far. Has had some nice moments though. This ball game defensively. Here's the first pitch. Throw down to second. Not in time. Goes into center. Quickly there is Galaviz. Calaviz grabs and returns it in before any damage can be done. Pitch was a strike to Addy, so Wittram is looking at an 0-1 count. Runner at second would be the tying run. That's way up there and beyond your Ross. And easily in at third is DeBose. So Mariah is now looking at a chance to tie it up here with a passed ball or any kind of contact with her speed you always be aware of it the ball is fouled back of course nobody out you're at the top of the lineup with Widenhop at the plate I expect that the Cardinals will remain very selective about which way they attack here only the bottom of the fifth 4-3 the score here is the 1-2 pitch to Addy. Oh, sliced down the third base line. It just foul. Great, uh, great piece of hit, but again, just foul down that left side. Kennard quickly gave chase. Still one ball and two strikes. Hit sharply, bobbled by the shortstop. Everybody is going to be safe. And that is a play where Holland is uh, realizing, man, I'm going to have to make a quick decision with the speed of DeBose. And I think she took her eye off the ball just that moment. And Mariah will score from third. Wittram with her good 
ability to get down the line is there easily. So it's uh, runners scoring and a runner at first with nobody out. We're tied four apiece. Catching the outside corner for strike one is Holland. So Widenhop catcher looking at it. 0-1. She'll push that out in the right center, and it is down. The runners will take one bag at a time. Widenhop with another hit. She is two for three on the afternoon. So a good piece of hitting there from the catcher. Everybody advancing 60 feet. So runners at first and second for Abby Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth, the designated player. She scored last inning, as did Widenhop. And now she's coming up with a first pitch, catching the upper portion of the strike zone. 0-1 oh to Kiara. That's trouble up the middle and it's gonna get past the shortstop Holland. A play at the plate, rounding third, no chance to get Wittram as Addison Wittram is digging hard. Coach Segova sending uh, the runner without any hesitation and we now have a Cardinal advantage of 5-4. Runners have first and second and no, no body out. So it is Trinity Valley leading it. 5-4. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. More after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher-to-student ratio of 1 to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC. It makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Five four Trinity Valley after the base hit. Now scoring to bunt, putting it down. Nicely done. And the runners move up 60 feet apiece. Runners in scoring position now uh, are Hollingsworth and Widenhop. And now that'll bring up to the plate Crystal and Castaneda. Beautiful sacrifice there. Castaneda on the afternoon, she struck out in the second, but then was one of three players that scored for Trinity Valley last inning. They've added two more here in the fifth. Swing and a miss. One and one the count here with Cardinals trying to add to a 5-4 lead. That one is upstairs. Two and one the count as Castaneda is uh, trying to add two here. Swing and a miss. Good piece of pitching there from Holland. Now all even at two apiece. Two balls, two strikes. Trinity Valley with a one run advantage. Base hit would be huge here. And she delivers down the line. One run scoring coming in from second is going to be Hollingsworth. And it's a double for Castaneda. Two RBIs on the double, and now Trinity Valley lead 7-4. And the first three innings, they were held scoreless, but the last two crooked numbers on the board. Three in the fourth, four in the fifth, and still only one out as Castaneda gets the double. And now here comes Eliza Fields to the plate. 
7-4 lead, and here's the pitch. That missing to Eliza. Eliza coming up big last inning as well. She was eventually would be left on at third, but not before Trinity Valley put up three runs in that inning and took the lead. That's down low. The Pirates would come back, adding two of their own in the fifth and reclaim the lead for a brief moment before Trinity Valley comes back with four so far here in the fifth, and they're not done yet. I would like to say we're not done yet. There's uh, one out in the inning. Nice placement there. That'll be in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. One out here in the fifth inning. Pulled it back, thought for a second it was going to be in there, but uh, just missing on that. Three balls, one strike. Fields at the plate. Menchaca on deck, due up next for the Cardinals. Here's a 3-1 offering. Fouls that one down the first baseline. Well out of play. Three balls, two strikes. Went out here in the inning. Chopper to short on the short hop, grabs and throws. Will retire Fields, but moving up to third is Castaneda. So that'll go on the ground out. Second out of the inning, two down here. Destiny and Chaka are coming to the plate here. Chaka trying to add to this three run lead here. Oh, one the count. Here's the pitch. That's right at the second base. One all for glove, and it'll get out into right field. So Trinity Valley will pick one up there. And that's one that Fonseca is probably going to feel like she should have had. Kind of knuckling towards her out there a second. Looked like it kind of hit off of the palming of the glove, not necessarily the webbing of the mitt, and scoots off and into right field. So good piece of hitting there from Machaca. It was a liner for sure. So Weinert coming to the plate. That one of them will catch the upper portion of the strike zone. Quickly out front, 0 oh and 2. Two outs in the inning. Fouls that one back into the net. Trinity Valley scoring runs in bunches. Over the last two innings, they have eight runs. And uh, still not done here in the fifth. Eight for the score. Two long home runs have been, for the most part, the uh, scoring. Two two-run shots. There's a swing and a miss. That will retire the side. Weinert goes down to end the fifth. So we're headed to the top of the sixth with Trinity Valley on top by four. It's 8-4 Trinity Valley over Northeast Texas here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. This spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. 
Trinity Valley softball on the air this afternoon. Glad to have you here in the inaugural broadcast of Cardinal softball and uh, and looking forward to some great action over the next few weeks. Trinity Valley uh, just having a light them up season and looking good thus far this afternoon. Coming roaring back in the fourth with three and then five in the fifth inning. They now lead it 8-4, but the Pirates have, uh, excuse me, the Eagles have shown that they uh, are not going away. They came back last inning, put two on the board. See what they do here as the first pitch to Calaviz is in there for strike one. Fouls that one out of play beyond third base. So with an 0-2 count here, Calaviz, the left, uh, the center fielder, is going to have her work cut out for her here. Eagles need base runners. Top half of the sixth. They're going to have to add four runs over the next two innings to force extras. Pushes that one down the left field line, giving chase and running it down before crashing into the wall is the left fielder, Castaneda. What an effort there, chasing it down and uh, robbing her of extra bases. So one out as the Cardinals will have plenty of celebration on that one from Castaneda. Here's a look at it on the replay. They have a big drive down the wall, down the line, and, and the grab just before going into the corner. Great effort from Castaneda. There's a ball outside for first pitch. Yavos popping that one up into center, going back, making the catch. Two feet on the warning track and getting the grab will be DeBose. So Mariah makes the catch, and now it's quickly two up and two down. So according to my scorebook here, this one should be going out to fields. They started out with a catch and left, catch and center. So see if she goes to the right field. Nope, this will be hit up the middle. Menchaca make a grab and a throw, retiring the side. Grant goes down. It's a one, two, three inning. And TVCC is going into the bottom of the six with an eight, four lead over Northeast Texas. We'll have it for you right after this on the Cardinals Sports Network. Valley in control here, headed to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth here with a four run lead, trying to add to it as TVCC will send up this inning a, a chance to see uh, DeBose, who had that great defensive stop to start the top half of the six running that ball down in the corner now she'll be at the plate here in the bottom of the six I got this chance just want to highlight the Cardinal Sports Network these guys man moved mountains to get this broadcast to you today and uh, they really really have been working since early this morning to bring this broadcast on the air so Thanks to them. Hats off for all their effort and contributions. Here's first pitch coming in for strike one. And that will put DeBose at an 0-1 count again here in the bottom of the sixth. 
Ryan, big old, big old wide open stance, and they see that they go way outside on the opposite part of the plate. See if you can get to this one. She laid off of it because she said, well, that's a ball. It's halfway in the other batter's box. So Mariah out of Spring, Texas, looking at the 1-1. That went in there for strike two. So one and two the count. On the afternoon, the leadoff hitter for the Cardinals is one for three. She scored in the fifth last inning. One of five Cardinals to cross the plate. A chopper to third. Long throw. They will get her by about a half a step. That's a good play there from Fuentes, who uh, had to catch and throw in a simultaneous fashion as there was not much room for error there. And she gobbles up DeBose. So one away here in the bottom half of the sixth. Wittram stepping to the plate. Addison is... Looking at ball one, she's one for three on the afternoon as well. Retired in the first, flew out to left in the third, and then scored in the fifth. Hit sharply, couple of hops though to the second baseman. That's Fonseca over to Grant, and Wittram is retired. So quickly, two outs here in the sixth. Weidenhop coming to the plate here with a chance to keep this inning alive. That's going to hit her. She had the infield hit, had the base hit, and now the hit by pitch. So she's been on base her last three times. She scored two of them. See if... They can get her home here in the sixth as it'll be Hollingsworth, the designated player, coming to the plate. That's in there for strike one. Oh, and one the count, two down here. It's the bottom of the sixth, Trinity Valley leading at 8-4. Pops that one out of play and into the stands. Hits the bottom bleacher, goes up about three rows, and then rolls all the way to the fencing underneath. So 0 and 2 as Abby Hollingsworth is trying to get on board. She's been on her last two times. She flew out back in the second, but Singles in the fourth and fifth and now and scored both in the fourth and fifth. Trinity Valley coming alive in the fourth inning with three, five in the fifth. And they are leading eight, four. That one's in there for ball one. Down low. So what Abby does here. That is Popped up out into right center, giving chase, going back all the way over the wall. And Hollingsworth says, goodbye, see you later. That is going to score Widenhoff. And then Hollingsworth with the bomb. And it is now 10-4 Trinity Valley. Big shot from Hollingsworth. Jaden Burnham due up here, and she will come to the plate. Had a sacrifice fly. Last time up, had a base on balls in the second. Flew out to the shortstop in the fifth. Or the fourth, rather. My apologies. Fouls that one down the first baseline. See what they elect to do here, pitching to Jaden, first baseman for Trinity Valley. Swings through that one. 
So 0 and 2 the count. Two outs here in the sixth inning. That one missing. One ball and two strikes. So Jaden Burnham, the first baseman, trying to keep this sixth inning alive. The one-two pitch. That's down the right field line over the outstretched arms of Grant. And Burnham will have the base hit. Jaden now on base for the second time here in game one of this doubleheader. The runner on for Burnham. That's uh, and Trinity Valley was awesome red on red and then white outline of the number that helped my old eyes. <laughs> but a courtesy runner on for Burnham. So timeout as there's going to be a pitching change. We're going to step away for 60 seconds. We'll, we'll come back after this as the Eagles are going to the bullpen. We'll come back. It's a 10-4 lead. Trinity Valley up six right here on the Cardinal Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. And everyone is always on the same team. Good girl. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing healthcare for the better. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. <laughs> But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Off the wall, new pitcher in the ball game and one pitch in a long single. Great effort there by Galaviz to try to track that one down. She she played it perfectly off the wall. Holds uh, Castaneda to a long single. That was inches away from being a home run. 10-4 runners on first and third. Here's the pitch. That one's Popped up short center and short left field and it's down. The ball bounced off the turf and got her on the uh, on the carom. That that was the left fielder there. I believe that's Kennard out there. They're checking on her, making sure she's okay. Holland will trot out and talk to Kennard and make sure. Looking at her, it looked like it bounced up and got her on the chin. Into the ball game, pitching for the Eagles is number 13. That's Castro. Ashland Castro is now pitching here. That's upstairs. So. Menchaca at the plate here. Cards are definitely making the most of it here. First pitch swinging uh, on the last couple of batters as Castaneda drove one off the wall. Fields had one fall between the Bermuda Triangle. That one's out into right field. It'll bounce down the right field line. Two hops and rolls. 
Coming around third to score is going to be Castaneda. And the Lady Cardinals continue to pour it on here. That's the second run. Actually, now the fourth run. And that is actually going to end it here, making it a 10-run ball game. They have uh, walked it off here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for the final. And they they walk it off with the the big W. So runs run they run score them here after being down early uh, two nothing. Trinity Valley would come back and take the lead three two. The Eagles would come back to make it four three. And then uh, Trinity Valley started to pour it on. Never looked back. Final score, 12-4. So TVCC gets it done in game one of this double hitter. Uh, we will step away and uh, tell you what. Why don't we take a quick timeout, a, about a minute and a half timeout, and then we'll put a, re a bow on this one and uh, get you set for the second one coming up. But a quick break, we'll do some number tallies and come back with more after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. So the Cardinals get it done in game one, winning it 12-4 the final as they uh, come back from a 2-0 deficit, take the lead, and then would go on uh, to rally two different times and, and uh, take care of business against Northeast uh, Texas. Northeast Texas the Eagles will lose this one 12-4 uh, Trinity Valley in game one of this doubleheader. Now we're going to break away. We'll come back with more after. Uh, actually, we'll break away completely. We'll have another broadcast for you. Ask you to uh, tune in here. That one's scheduled to start in about 40 minutes. We'll get on the air here uh, about 4, 4.35, 4.30-ish uh, with, excuse me, 4.25-ish uh, first pitch set for 4.30. So thanks for tuning in this afternoon. Trinity Valley will host Northeast as uh, Northeast Texas Community College coming up here in the nightcap right after uh, a little break. And we'll be back with more after this here on the Cardinal Sports Network. <laughs> 